okay, how to create a basic table. Okay, you might be using a different type of office, but if you want to create a basic table, you just can go to create blank database. Okay, then you can give your file a name. Let's make it CD table. Try not to use any spaces in your uh, database name. Okay, let's try to use it CD database. Okay, so because one database can have many tables. Okay, so we're going to make a CD database with only one table. So over here you can specify where do you want to save this database. I'm going to save mine on the desktop. And then I'm going to say create. And the most important thing about access is that there is two views. If you click on views on the left hand side, you will see there's a data sheet view and a di design view. In design view, you will be able to design or create your different fields and the field types. So the first time you go to design view, it will ask you to save your table name. So I'm going to make mine cd underscore table because I don't want to use any spaces in my table names. Otherwise, later on, it's going to be more difficult to refer back to these tables if there's spaces in them. Okay, so try not to use any spaces in cd underscore table. Okay, in the design view now, you can enter all your fields and you can assign data types for them. I'm going to leave my ID number, ID, as an auto number. Auto number means that every time there's a new record, it will access will automatically create a number for you. That's the next one. Let's make it CD underscore name. Again, no spaces. The data type will be text. Text is similar to string in Delphi. Then let's make it CD underscore artist. Also text CD underscore. Let's make it price. And let's make that in currency. And the last one, let's make it CD underscore DOR for date of release and we can make that one a date and time field okay so now you made your basic table over here you will see that the key over there will indicate that that field is a primary key your primary key is used to uniquely identify every record in a table okay so for example at the school you will have a student ID, which will be unique. If we want to search for you on the school database, we will have to use that school, your student ID, to find you. In the country, they use your ID number. So there will not be another person with the same ID number as you. Okay, let's go back to, to the other view, data sheet view. Yes, I want to save this table. In the data, data sheet view, you will be able to enter new um, records into your current table okay so id was set to auto number so you don't need to assign one access will do that for you cd name just make it green artist was 50 cent cd price 50 rand date of release we use the date time picker there just click on enter, it will go to a new one, you will see that it automatically gave you a ID because it was auto number, let's make it black, uh, artist, let's make it Nirvana, price, 60 rand, date of release, let's just pick something there, and now you are entering records into your table, okay, then you can save, and close it, close it down again, and you will see that your access database is over here if you want to open it to access it again let's open, it, open it then you will see that there's this the, under tables you will see your table that you designed or created double click on that table and it will show you the content in that table 
you want to edit something like in the design of the table you can just go back to design view and you will be able to change stuff